YouTube, my name is Dragon and welcome to the first episode of Rune Factory 5 Let's Play. I am so incredibly hyped. I think it's been almost 10 years since like an, a, a real new Rune Factory has come out. Like we got Rune Factory 4 Special, which was great by the way. I really, really enjoyed that. But like a completely new one, it's been a long time coming. So I'm very excited. And something that is new to Rune Factory is gay marriage, which I am so excited about because I like to keep my options open, you know. I've seen that there are a lot of cute girls in this game, a lot of cute bachelorettes. I, I think I like them more than the male characters in this game, so that's gonna be fun. So yeah, let's get into it. The Kingdom of Norit, a forest along the border. The border to what? Oh, who's that? Huh? She's so precious. A scream? It's a girl. I have to help her. Now's my chance to be a hero. It's time to become a hero. Okay, yeah, yeah, for sure. Female. You're just a right woman in the wrong place. Could see as a female character. Yes. And there we are. Look at us. Must have blacked out. What happened? Classic rune factory trope. Amnesia. Always. Okay, let's go and save her then. Are we gonna get thrown into a battle straight away? <laughs> it's a woolly! A monster? Wait, right there, I'll protect you! You can be scared of that, right? Come on! Okay, we don't have a weapon. First, I need to equip a weapon. I'll open the left pocket with the left button. Then I select my broadsword and press the Y button to equip it. Okay. Press the B button to attack, right stick to look around. Okay. Cool, cool. I'm so sorry! Alright, let's do this! Are you alright, tiny child? Uh oh. You have to destroy the portal first. Knocked on her ass. Okay, should we like close down the portal? Two of them, I wonder which one I should focus on first. I can press the right stick to lock on an enemy, then I can do the right stick to choose between the different targets. Dash out of the way. Okay, lock on. I see you. Movement feels kind of strange. It's like very... Like, you run very fast, right? Cool. Yeah, no, we're okay. We didn't get hit. We didn't get hit a single time. Either way, we need to get out of here. Come on. Are we alright? Take me to your town, tiny child. Take me to safety. Oh, I'm so hyped, guys. Oh, we're here. Ooh, okay. Let me in. Who's that? Oh, you can do it. Is she afraid to go outside? <sighs> you can do it, Priscilla. <laughs> a creeper. What you creeping? Huh? Okay, here we are. Huh? Yay. <laughs> a town. Thank goodness. Almost there. She's so cute. I love her like her ears and she's like little horns as well. 
Oh, it's so adorable. I love her. Favorite character already. Oh, they're all just staring now. Yes. Yes, sure. Oh, I love the design so much. Oh, there's our guy. Okay. I feel like he's he's a fan favorite, isn't he? Come on. You scared Hina and Priscilla have to death. Sorry, Sorry Lizzie. I have my niece was carried in here. Oh. Oh, that's so cute. They're related. Now, thanks to my hero. You. How could I ever repay you? Whoa. Yeah, that's quite all right. Hey now, what are you doing to my patient? Hello. Doctor? Hey. Mom? I was just coming to get you. Mom? Mommy? Mom? Well, I'm here now. What? I'm this town's doctor, and also its mayor. Call me Simone. How are you feeling? Experiencing any pain? Not really. Actually, I feel fine. Thank goodness. If you don't have any difficulty speaking, then I'd like to ask a few questions. Alright. First off, what is your name and birthday? All right, dragon like always. Does dragon sound good? Yes. And so your birthday. So we're gonna go like for spring, spring, uh, winter 11th. I feel like winter is always good because then you get to know the people a little bit more. And then they'll give you a gift all your birthday. And we love gifts for sure. So yeah, that seems fine with me. Pretty sure my name is dragon. My birthday is winter 11th, I think. And your hometown, where are you from? I, um, Whoops. Forgot. Amnesia. I'm really sorry. I can't remember. You appear to be suffering from memory loss. I'm afraid Cinder's point to a case of amnesia. Yes. That doesn't sound good. Hey. Afraid not, amnesia is no joke. I never met anyone with amnesia before. What I do? Isn't there anything we can do? Everyone's getting worked up over me. What to do? I should leave before it causes any more trouble. Girl, you're not causing trouble. Thanks for your concern, man. I'm okay, really. I better be on my way now. I mean, you saved the tiny child. Why not stay at my family's place? Hey, now, what are you saying? Hina's hero is crashing with me. They're fighting over us. <laughs> Absolutely not. Stop this nonsense. She's my patient. She'll be staying under my care. You just want a chance to study an amnesiac? Is she gonna, like, experiment on us? For own safety, of course. And for science. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm kind of scared now. I'm not following, like, any of this. Don't be dense. Isn't it obvious you're arguing over who's gonna take you in? Could you have people be any more gullible? You're inviting a total stranger into your homes. Oh, fair. I thought she was gonna be like the kind one. She's kind of like the snooty one, isn't she? We like the snooty ones. For all you know, she's a wolf in Wooly's clothing. Very fair. No way, Dragon is a good person. As much as I'm inclined to agree with Hina, my daughter does raise a valid concern. Oh, I know, Lucy. Be a dare and take Dragon to the field captain's office. The soul sphere doesn't lie. Once Ken will tell us just what kind of person she is. Huh? Why me? I'm the one who raised the red flag. Red flags all around. I wouldn't mind taking you. 
Sure, the field captain's office is on the first floor. In what kind of building are we? I kind of thought we were in the blonde girl's house. Wait up, I'm coming too. Oh, now she wants to come. I thought this was like the doctor's house, but apparently not. With the camera with the right stick. Option space of the cam menu. Saving the game. This game automatically saves your progress with the auto save feature. A save point. Okay. Whenever you save a hint related to advancing the game's story will pop up. Your mini map shows the destination of the next story event. Okay, so that's like the red marker. Uh, so this is like our menu. So we have like character. Our back. Skills, recipes, party. And over here we have a great menu. A menu I really love. Where we can see all the characters we've met. And yeah, so as we can see, like, the two girls and Mur Murakamo, they have a little heart, so we can romance them. I still haven't decided on who I want to romance. Maybe we'll try some of them. Uh, but yeah, we're definitely gonna try a few people, right? Requests, events, save and load. You can only save at save points. I never get why games do that. That just doesn't make sense to me. Alright, cool. Well. What's going on? The field captain's office is down the stairs and to your right. Come on now, no dawdling. Yes, ma'am. The field captain's office is right through the door. Um, that's a tiny child. Captain Livia is a tiny child. I can see she is like the elf ears, though. If it isn't Priscilla starting to report, I'm guessing she's way older than she looks. One of those things. We've got a registered dragon with a soul sphere. Dragon? This, one. So she's awake. Um... this child is the field captain? She runs the silo, seats Rickbard outpost. Who's Rickbard and what's a seat? The pure confusion. Honestly. Can you at least try to keep up? Okay. Okay. The clothes you are wearing were all turned up, so we took the liberty of lending you a seat uniform. Oh, sweet. Got it. Got it. Thanks. Thanks for filling me in. Thank me. Now she's getting shy. Ooh. So, where did you come from? What brings you to our peculiar little slice of the frontier? Honestly, I can't remember. What exactly? Amnesia, you know. She supposedly is amnesia. That's why we like you to run the soul sphere check. Oh. I see. That's it. I don't know what I was expecting. This is kind of like an attraction you see at the fair. In that case, hold out your hand. Where's the crystal? We can definitely do that. This thing? So, will it tell us if we're, like, a good person or if we're lying? It seems to be very bright. Does that mean we are a very good person? What's happening? These runes are nearly out of control. That can only mean one thing. Enough, get away. Uh, right. That was a surprise. What happened? Who or what are you? That's what I'd like to know. But guess field captain, that was not a normal reading. Normally the sorcerer only gets off a faint glow, right? Ma'am? Yes, right. This one is no threat. That's good to hear. In fact... The important thing is that things suspicious came up on the soul sphere. Dragon is squeaky clean. Hey, we're squeaky clean. Thank goodness. Yeah, I feel relieved. Not gonna lie, I'm way out of my death here. For starters, what's a soul sphere? The soul sphere is, uh, you know, 
What is it? <laughs> they don't even know. My mom told me it quantifies the inner light of a living spirit. Whatever that means. Offer your hand and it will reveal a lot about who you are. Alright, Cat Olivia. Yeah, that about sums it up. More importantly, dragon. Okay. That's pretty good, Lily. They're so short-handed. We've had to work overtime, and we're just volunteers. Interested? The job comes with a free room and board. I'm sure we can do it. Hello. Hello. What is it, Sissel? Granny Yuki's spectacles have been spirited away. She lost her glasses again. They vanished into thin air. It's a serious incident. Okay, okay. This one's all yours, Lucy. Me. Again. Let me guess. This is going to be a job for us. Of all the lousy... Oh no, she's at it. Okay. That sounded serious. Strange things always happen when sis or boy detective is around. That's what qualifies for a mystery out in the sticks. We're just a sleepy hamlet where nothing happens. As soon as your memory turns, you can pack up and go. But for now, we need all the help we can get. Alright, sure. You put it that way, sum me up. Excellent, welcome to the team. And then let's put you to work. Priscilla, take her new recruit out back for some field training. By field, do you mean... <laughs> Agricultural! See, this is a self-sufficient organization. You'll just start in the field. After that, the only thing limiting what you can do is my imagination. Okay, then. Well, shall we? I, I like that bridge to farm work there, yeah. <laughs> I, I like that. Not, not bad at all. So yeah, even in this game, you, you can't escape farming in Rune Factory. You just can't. Although that's for sure not the main reason why I like Rune Factory. It's honestly the characters. This is the field. I'm going to explain how farming works now, okay? Uh, uh, yeah, let's. Thank goodness I didn't know what I was going to do if you didn't want to listen. She's really going out of her way to help me. Great, well the best way to learn something new is to get some hands-on experience. So could you start by tilling this field for me? I mean, I'd like to say yes, but this place seems like it's in pretty bad shape. To tell the truth, nobody's worked this field for ages. So we're gonna be like an unpaid intern that has to do all the dirty work. Let's clean it up first. Could you please use the Abedin to pick up all the weeds and branches? You can stay them in the shipping bin over there. Okay. Oh, okay. Camera controls acting kinda, kinda insane. Wait, we can't pick up more at a time? We should be able to pick up more than one, right? We just yeeted it away. The field isn't that way. Well, I just dropped something there. Place. Hold. So now we do have to... You have to stand like completely still before you can pick it up. Okay. I can already tell that this is gonna take some getting used to. But that's fine, you know. Uh, can we just eat this, you know? <laughs> that would make it easier. Did we... Did we not throw it in? Okay, the controls are kind of wacky. Not gonna lie. I'm not too sure yet. In Rune Factory 4, this would have gone in. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, come on, work with me here. Have we done them all? We can we can do anything with these. I guess you want me to pick up all the stones as well? Stones. Alright. Well, I'm glad we can at least pick up more than one item at a time. It's just that the hitbox is kind of weird. 
Um, but yeah. It's just gonna take some time getting used to. Are, are we done? Are, are, are we finished? I'm finished. You did a great job. Okay. By the way, if you hold down the A button, you only pick up items of the same time. Okay, there we go. And if you lock on the shipping bin when you're holding so that you can throw stuff in there from a distance. Okay. I appreciate that. Try telling the soil in one of the spots you cleared. If there's anything you don't understand, just ask me for help. Okay. So, I'm guessing we have to equip that farm tools. I need to equip this first. Why? Okay, okay. And then I guess B to till the soil, right? Uh, how many do we need to do? I don't know how many seeds she's gonna give us. Eight might be enough. If you use a better quality hoe, you can till several scores at once. Turnip seeds. So these seeds wherever you've tilled the soil. Okay. I'm guessing we have to equip these as well. I need to equip this. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see you. And then just B to sow them. There we go. There you go. There we go. There you go. Okay, done it. Very nice. If you hold on a B button, you can sow multiple seeds across a wide area. Okay. What a pod. What a pod, what a pod, what a pod. So then we go again, equip it. I keep pressing A instead of equip. So I'm guessing, can we hold B as well? Oh, wait, we have to fill it first. Yeah, yeah. I get you. I get you. Can do nothing with an empty watering pot. Watering time. Watering time. <laughs> I like the little commentary she gives. Okay, cool. Perfect, you're a natural at this. The field dries out overnight, so make sure you water the seeds you planted every morning. Oh, but on the rainy days. I know they may seem dreary, but they're not all bad because you don't need to water your field when it rains. And that's pretty much everything you need to know about farming. Just keep tilling the soil, sowing seeds and watering whenever you plant. Then you'll be harvesting your own crops in no time. You can eat whatever you grow as is, or you can cook something with them. I bet everyone in town would appreciate receiving something you've grown as a present. And of course, you can always leave your crops in a shipping bin to settle for profit. Someone will come by every day at 8 a.m. to collect what's inside, so make sure you put everything you want to sell in there before then. Okay, one more thing. You received more turnip seeds. Whoa, that's a lot. Are you sure I can have these? Please, I insist. Think of it as a thank you present for cleaning up the field. I'm looking forward to seeing what you grow here. I'll try to live up to your expectations. I think you do just fine, Dragon. Not many people could do all this work so easily as you did, especially not on their first try. There's a good reason why Cat and Livia made you a ranger. You're just like one of those, um, what are they called? Earth mates? <laughs> You know, Dragon, maybe it's not just farming you're good at. I get the feeling that you're the kind of person who could make the whole world a green, vibrant place. Oh, come on. Now you're just exaggerating. But wouldn't it be nice if that were true? When I was little, I read a story about earth maids who rode dragons through the skies. They would tend the earth and bring it to life, filling the world with runes. I always love reading about them. Runes? Oh, I'm sorry. Runes are um, sort of like your stamina or maybe your life force. Basically, if you work yourself too hard and use up all your runes, you'll collapse from exhaustion. So be careful, okay? Ah, uh, be careful. Are you okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry for pushing you so hard. Let's call it a day. You can switch between your weapon of forms without opening up the left pocket. You can use the left buttons. Alright. The field captain said you can use this room. Switch your snow dragon. Um, wait, isn't this the silo? Yeah, I know what you're thinking, but this second floor room has always been empty and Cat and Livia said that rangers should live here. She did? Well, at least safety won't be a problem. Right? Cat and Livia lives just downstairs after all. Also, people come by the silo all the time. If you ever need any help, I'm sure someone will be happy to lend you a hand. She didn't be the other way around? Don't worry about it. Everyone around here is always eager to help each other out. Then maybe I'll ask them a favor or two. Go for it. That being said, right now your room only has a bed, a calendar, and a projector. 
a projector? And how about the other two? You can use the calendar to check the date and see whether a festival or anything is coming up. The projector lets you view any cutscenes you've seen. Breaking the fourth wall. Okay. Let's stop at your bed. If you go to sleep, you wake up at 6 a.m. the next day and your HP and RP are restored. If you don't sleep enough, you become fatigued and you're also more likely to catch a cold. In short, if you feel tired, go to bed. Okay, okay. I know, I know. That about does it. Oh, thank you. She's so sweet. I do want to explore the town, though. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to make you do so much work. Why don't you rest a while in that bed? Can... No. The sweet siren song of sleep steers me towards slumber. Fine, I'll sleep. Oh, wait, let's check out the calendar first. New Year's Day? Is there really nothing coming up on the 28th? Spring Harvest Festival. I guess we don't know anybody's birthday yet, so that makes sense. Oh, and if it's anything like in Rune Factory E4, you kind of have to make the festivals yourself, right? You had these orders you could do. Alright. Well, let's get to bed then. Call it a day. Oh, look at his sweet pajamas. Oh, I love that. Also, is she just gonna stand there watching me sleep? Oh. She woke me up as well. Girl, get under the covers. Oh, I love the drawing as well. Oh, you're awake. Morning. Oh, that's cute. What was that? I love that. You can wake me up each morning. morning. Good morning, Priscilla. And you too, Lucy. Morning. Pretty cool. I wonder if she still just trusts me. Oh yeah, did you saw the case of the missing glasses? Yeah. Naturally. Wow. Glad to hear it. Sissel sure must feel relieved. Relieved that didn't chew him out for wasting my time. Yuki's glasses were sitting right on her head. They say it's always the last place you look. Priscilla? I'm trying to hold back a yawn. I hope she's getting enough sleep. No. I fight it. If you gotta yawn, just yawn. Show the inside of my mouth to the whole world is just too embarrassing. Okay, whatever you say. Let's just pass along our message already. Then maybe you should go back to bed. You have a message for me? If you got this order, she wants you to introduce yourself to everyone in town. Oh, well, your first official seed mission. Good luck and break a leg. Cool mission. I like it. I can't wait to get to, every to know everybody because... I know, like, the bachelors and the bachelorettes, but all the other characters I don't really, so that's exciting. The minus button to bring up a map of the area. Over the cursor over building to see who's inside. Oh, that's useful. Warp menu. When on the map screen, you can choose to warp to places you've already visited. Oh, okay. Doug and Margaret will visit your town. I like that as well. Safe... Did it say safe point? Oh, I guess it makes sense. We have a safe point in our room too. Well, alright guys. I am going to end this first episode right here. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, that stuff. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.